Hey everybody, it's Cardfighter Hunter here, and today I am uh, selling a trial deck of sorts. It's a homemade trial deck for Great Nature, <laughs> for Great Nature, and um, so uh, I, I'll get to it. I guess the starting Vanguard is Flask Marmoset. It's a uh, it's a rare from BTO7. It's a good card. Uh, when it's a 5k booster, when you ride it, move it to rear guard and um, choose one of your Great Nature rear guards. And it gets 4,000 power until the end of turn, and then at the beginning of the end phase, retire it. So, uh, good card. Very good starting Vanguard. Um, I would say it's the best starting Vanguard that Great Nature has right now. The only other viable one for non-locks um, decks would be... Um, well, the only one in general for non-locks decks would be... Um, the Grade Zero Pencil Thingy, the Pencil Squire or whatever. And... Um, which is just a generic grade 3 searcher, so this card is a pretty good start. Uh, four, uh, one. four Ruler Chameleon. Um, Counterblast one during the end phase, when it's retired, just search for another copy of it. So, you know, pretty good, I would think. You can also use it as a uh, tank, it goes to your hand, so you can use it as a tanky shield or whatever. Um, two alarm chickens, and then two eraser alpacas, so four stands total. Um, I am running uh, four draw triggers, and also uh, four heal triggers. Well, you will be running if you buy it, you know, to the hypothetical buyer out there. Um, I'm running two tank mouse. This is a also a rare, so... Um, rest it and set something on fire which means it gets 4,000 power and then it dies at the end phase. So this works well with Ruler Chameleon and, in a, and a lot of other cards that I put in the deck. Um, just a second. You will be getting two Feather Penguins. Uh, I only have one on me right now. Um, hang on. Actually, you'll be getting three of him. It's just a, um, Soul Blast one. It's a Charge Gold clone. Soul Blast one. And, um, when it boosts, uh, School Dominator apt, um, that unit gets 4,000 power until the end of, or er, 5,000 power until the end of that turn. So, it doesn't matter if it's on Vanguard, Vanguard or Rearguard Circle. Uh, Soul Blast 1 gains 5,000. Uh, 2, Hula Hoop Chupacabra, just the generic 6k um, filter guy when it, it boosts an attack that hits. Um, discard a card from your hand and draw a card. Airboat Clone. Of course, it wouldn't be a trial deck without 4 uh, 8k beaters and for the Counter Blast 1 to become an 8k beater. So, um, I love the artwork on this guy, it's pretty awesome. So, um, this is just going off of what a lot of the commons and rares that I have that I'm trying to get rid of because the channel really needs the money right now. Um, don't need to say much about why because lots of stuff coming out, uh, this, this month that, uh, is really expensive. Uh, one 10k vanilla. I only run one 10k vanilla because this deck has a 11k attacker, so I don't feel like a 10k vanilla would be that useful, but, uh, I do have one, and it, 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 you know, it's still a good card, high base power, attacks for lots, you know, hits, if you put it behind a silver wolf, uh, hits cross rides fine, or if you put it behind something that gets set on fire, as, uh, people like to call it, then, um, you know, become, it can hit for 20k, or more. Um, I will be running, or you will be running three Pencil Knight Homskays. I only have two right now, but I will add in a third one. Actually, four of these. Sorry, four of these. And then I will be running... Or you will be running again. Sorry, I keep saying this. I'm so used to doing deck profiles. Um, three multimeter giraffe, which is the aforementioned 11k attacker when your opponent has two or more damage. So, it's just an 11k attacker just for your opponent being at, four, at two damage, which is very easy to pull off, of course. 
so three of those, and then uh, three of these special interceptor globe armadillo. Don't need to say much about that. Special interceptors are always fun. Pretty good. Grade threes, one school dominator acts, um, which goes with the um, feather penguin. Um, so every deck has a um, every trial deck has a double rare card, and this is the double rare card of this trial deck. So it's a good card. It's I, I think it's a pretty good card. Um, I mean there are better options if you're gonna make a fully fleshed out deck, but this is a very good place to start, uh, which is exactly what trial decks are for. Um, it's a limit break four uh, plus five thousand, and then um, its ability is. Um, Retire one of your uh, Great Nature rear guards. Um, when its attack hits a vanguard, you can call a Great Nature from your hand. So basically, if it if its attack hits a vanguard, with um, you can it basically turns a card into his any card on your side of the field into a stand trigger. So pretty good, I think. Let's see. Um, one si monkey scientist, scientist monkey, sorry, Rue, um, or Rue or whatever. Uh, it's uh, it has the same effect effect as Flask Marmoset. Uh, sets something on fire and then it dies. Uh, three, Calculator Hippo. Um, it's a very good card. It's pretty close to what Mag Magnet Crocodile is, except you know. Um, this one is when it's boosted, it gains 2,000 power until the end of that battle. So, if you have a silver wolf behind it, it attacks for 20k. And then I also have three school bag sea lion. Can't have a trial deck without having a crappy grade 3 in it. Um, it's basically a Bridget clone. So, when, it, when it's on the Vanguard Circle and when it drive checks a grade 3 great nature, um, it, gain, it gains 5,000 power, so it turns grade threes into a trigger, basically. Um, well, a trigger that you have to give to the Vanguard. Now, um, that is the deck. I believe that is 50 cards, because I don't have all the cards that I'm putting in it uh, right now. I was going to go buy some extra commons and stuff. Um... So, uh, let me know if you're interested. I really prefer PayPal, but, um, you know, I, I'm not terribly picky, but I would prefer PayPal. If if you want to send cash, I would really prefer to have you, s the buyer, send first, um, if you're going to send the money in an envelope or something, because I, I would just feel safer that way, because, you know, I mean, this isn't terribly, you know, expensive of a deck, but, um... Also, uh, if if you ha if you want me to add in, um, if you want me to go to my store and buy s a, a single card that you might want, I can certainly uh, go and buy it for you, provided that you pay for it. Um, so, like, if you wanted a Leopold or something, I'd be like, okay, that'll be I don't know how much Leopolds are. But 13 bucks, I, I, that's a, just a guess, I don't know, there may be more or less than that, uh, but as long as you pay it, I will, I will gladly put it in, um, so theoretically, if you have enough money, I will basically just go and turn this into a full flesh deck and sell it to you, <laughs> um, like I said, as long as you have the money, um, I, like I said, I, uh, oh, price, of course, derp. So I value rares one each. That's what our store sells them for. So, well, the majority of them. Let me. Is that it? Mm -hmm. oh, there we go. I think these three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then, um. These are like uh, commons. I value at like five for a dollar, so I'll just say I'll sell it for like twelve, and then as long and then you pay the shipping. So it's pretty cheap for a trial deck. Granted, it's not that it's not the best trial deck ever, but um, twelve dollar twelve dollars plus shipping isn't bad. 
Um, of course, I will I will charge fairly for the shipping. I'm not going to make it, you know, something ridiculous like on eBay. Like, oh, hey, $5 for me to send it, you know, two miles. No. Um, I'll, I'll base it on whatever, you know, the actual shipping cost is. Um, I don't, um, brain fart. So I'll say, uh, I, like I said, I'll prefer, I am messing up really bad today. I'm very tired. Um, so we can always, um, lost my train of thought. Anyway, <laughs> so if you're interested in buying this, let me know. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, oh, also, um, if you are willing to pay for it, I could also put in, do, 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 uh, perfect guards, or, and I'm, I'm not entirely sure why I didn't do this in the first place, stamp sea otters, which are pretty much a staple in great nature, or, Um, Beaker Holsteins, and these are all promos, so, like, I, val I value the promos at, like, three each. The Perfect Guard at, like, 11 or 12. Um, so if you're interested in this, you want me to throw anything else in, as long as you pay for it, I will. Um, so let me know. Thanks. Bye.